welcome to Talk Techie to Me. I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Efe. And today we're here to talk about Lockheed Martin Innovations. As you can see, we're not at our normal set because we're on the production line of the most advanced fighter jet in the world, the F-35 Lightning II. So you may hear some background noise as they're actually building the F-35s behind us. And we're here with Billy Flynn, Lockheed Martin F-35 test pilot, who's gonna talk not only about the aircraft, but about the tech inside the F-35's helmet, which is said to give pilots superhuman powers. So Billy, tell me a little bit more about the helmet. So it's not superhuman, and we don't have x-ray vision, but the helmet is a remarkably cool piece of technology in a fascinating aerospace vehicle, the most complex airplane ever built. And we love talking about the helmet. There's so many cool things about the helmet that say just the smallest bit of what happens in an F-35. And what it allows the pilot to do, it, it, it's a great enabler for all the systems that are in this airplane, right? It allows us to see where we're going, how high we are, how fast we're going, where we're pointing, targets on the ground and in the air. But it also allows us to see through the skin of the airplane a bit like x-ray vision. So what's the technology behind this? What our eyes see are two projectors filming into a clear visor here. It has a bit of a coating that reflects to it. And what we see is like a movie screen. And wherever we move our head, our helmet's tracked, or the vision is tracked, and we see that information, how fast, how high, the movie screen part, no matter where we look in our head. This dark visor is just for us to look cool. So, Billy, tell me, that's a really cool helmet. Is it one size fits all? Well, it's not, so that it's a really great question. There's thousands of men and women that will fly this jet. It would be impossible for us to get it one size fits all. So we have it individually tailored, not just how the helmet fits on the person's head, but how we focus that vision so that the two eyes see a movie screen in front of them and not two separate projectors. That was remarkably hard for us to get right over the early years of the helmet, for us to get it so that you think like wherever you move, that movie screen is going with your head and where your eyes are looking. So, Billy, you've had experience in other fighter aircraft and now the F-35. Can you tell me what makes that helmet so special when you're out there in the air? In older fighters, so in my case it was the F-16, the F-18, the Eurofighter Typhoon, we always had a heads-up display, a piece of glass in front of the cockpit for the pilot to look at to see how fast he was going, how high he was going, where he was going, and what targets in the air and on the ground. And we always had to bring our head back to the center of our dashboard, our console, to get that information. And it became pretty laborious that every single time our head had to tilt back and look forward, we needed the F-35 pilot with all the situational awareness that we expect the pilot to have. We couldn't have them forced back to looking at our, the console every time. And so we needed to enable these technologies by putting it in the helmet. And wherever we look, that information is there for us. Whatever information is shared from other F-35s, we get to see just by pointing our head and looking at it in the helmet. Wow, thank you so much, Billy. And thank you guys for joining us as well. Don't forget to like, comment, and leave your questions below. And who knows, maybe we'll answer it on the next episode. Bye, guys. See ya.